Welcome back everybody to another edition of Can You Reach the Summit? We are in week number three of our Explore the Summit series where we're previewing Oral Roberts University, one of our nine members here in the Summit League. We've had a lot of fun this week and to know some things going on in ORU campus and get to know Kenny Joe Lippy from the women's basketball team who was the first up on the Can You Reach the Summit episode and today we're excited to have Foster Roy from the baseball team. Welcome to the show Foster. Just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm a, well, I guess you kind of hit it and play baseball at ORU. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and uh, I'm studying business management right now. Cool. Good deal. Good deal. Business management. What do you want to, what do you want to do with that? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of interested in real estate, interested in uh, sales, and I've been interning for a great company here in town, doing a little HR work. So hopefully I get to play baseball for a while, and then we'll figure it out after that. Cool, good stuff, good stuff. Well, let's launch right into why you're here, and that's a little trivia, and we're going to get to know you a little bit along the way. So we've had fun with the previous contestants. Just uh, keep it light, have some fun, test your knowledge, some campus questions, some pop culture we throw in there, a little U.S. geography. We toss in um, questions by yourself, some summer league history, so it's a wide range of topics, and they've been a lot of fun. And the first... Three are all campus related questions. You're gonna have one true false question. It could be anywhere in the line, one through 10. I think yours is early on. And then the rest are multiple choice. So the most you can score is a thousand points. And um, you need a thousand points. I'll just say that if you wanna to get to the top of the summit. So no pressure. But here's the first one, it's campus traditions. And the question is, Oral Roberts changed its nickname to Golden Eagles in 1993. What was the school's nickname prior to that change? Was it A, Lions, B, Warriors, C, Owls, or D, Titans? This one's pretty easy for me. I'm going with Titans. Good start, right off the bat. So you must have known that. Yes, I have been knowing that one. Yeah, good, good deal, good deal. Um, Golden Eagles, what's it mean to you to be, uh, be at ORU and to be a student athlete there? Uh, honestly, it's a, especially on the baseball team, very history rich, uh, a lot of tradition, a lot of good players to come before us. Um, and the school has a lot of history too, uh, with the great Oral Roberts, you know, one of the first televangelists. It's just a really special place. I think a recent survey came out. We're like top 10 in student involvement. So the students really get involved with each other. Campus life is great. One of the friendliest campuses. It, it just really means a lot to be a Golden Eagle. And it's a, it's a pretty special place. Good deal, good stuff. So right off the bat, 100 points, so good start. Good start. Move on to question number two. This is a campus fact, so it's a true or false question. Rhode Island is the only state that is not represented among Oral Roberts student population. Hmm, I know uh, Caleb Lee could bench press Rhode Island, but as far <laughs> as students go, I'm gonna have to say that's false. It is false. So, fun fact, all 50 states are represented at Oral Roberts. So, off to a good start, 200 points. Great, great. Let's move on to number three. This is a campus landmark question, all right? The praying hand sculpture on campus is the largest object in the world made of this material. Is it A, copper, B, bronze, C, brass, or D, aluminum? Man, it looks like they're all right. Um, I'm going to go with copper. A, copper is not correct. So you got 75 points if you get this right. So got a chance. Knowing the history of Oral Roberts, or like maybe bronze. Let's go with B, bronze. B, bronze is correct. So good guess 275 there. out of 300, not, not a bad start. We're shifting gears, pop culture time. I think you're the, lucky enough to have a Disney question. So we'll see about all that. About Disney. All right, what is the highest grossing animated Disney film of all time? Is it A, The Incredibles, B, Frozen 2, D, Toy Story 3, or D, The Lion King? I'm a big fan of The Incredibles. Grew up looking like Dash. 
I don't feel like that's the answer. I'm going to go with D, the Lion King. Not D, the Lion King. Got to be Frozen 2. It is Frozen 2. 1.4 billion. I wow. know, right? For an animated film. I couldn't believe it. That's crazy. So, hey, you got the second crack at it. So, 350 through four questions, really good start. Really good start. This is a U.S. geography question. So, let's okay. see your knowledge in this area. All right. Which country is closest to the U.S. without sharing a border? Is it A, Iceland, B, the Bahamas, C, Puerto Rico, or D, Russia? Uh, I mean, Puerto Rico is only like a couple of miles off the coast of Florida, but that is not, I mean, are we using that as a commonwealth? Or are we using that as a separate, separate entity? Uh, that's part of the question, right? Ouch. I like, I like where you're thinking, though. I'll tell you that. I mean, we're going to go with Puerto Rico. It's a commonwealth, so you're, it's wrong. So, but I knew the information, so. You did, that was good, that was good. <laughs> I like what you were thinking, it was, that was the curveball that I threw in there. See, I, I told you guys I was stuffing these up a little bit. I know. Um, closest, let's go with, uh, the, ba mm, the Bahamas. Not the Bahamas. I got 50-50 coin toss, Russia. So Russia, there's a, there's a part of Russia that's like two and a half miles away from Alaska. Well, I've been <laughs> fooled by maps and globes my entire life. <laughs> so that was, a, that was a tricky one. I was kind of proud of that question, but hey, what do you... <laughs> that's a great question, though. You did good there. Thank you, thank you. Moving on, moving on. Now we're going into sports and athletics, so hopefully... Uh, we can shift gears a little bit to that foray, which is where you're at as a student athlete. So question number six, this is a Summit League fact. The institution, this institution will join the Summit League for the 2021 season and become the league's 10th full-time member. Is it A, Eastern Illinois, B, St. Thomas, C, Central Arkansas, or D, Northern Colorado? Uh, that is B, St. Thomas. So you have been keeping up with with the news so that's I've good up, i've been sizing them up for a while now yeah so st thomas they have baseball i threw northern colorado colorado on there as an answer because they're going to join as a baseball affiliate so our baseball league is growing from from five to seven here in the next couple of years so that's that's exciting movement for us on the baseball field what's some um, i know last year shortened 20 20 season didn't go how you guys wanted it to but um prospects for 2021 baseball season for you guys Oh, we're looking good. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of talent. Um, a couple of new guys that I think will be really beneficial. Uh, we've got an older group, obviously, with the COVID year. We were old last year, and then everybody gets to came, come back. So we're, so we're old again. But uh, I definitely think with that extra year, with the extra time to get a couple of guys healthy, we're going to be uh, really solid. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is an autobiography question. So I know you transferred from Richmond. Yep. Before you came to Oral Roberts, so this is going to date back to those, those years. I think it was your freshman season, but here's the question. See how much you remember from it. Your first collegiate win came against Princeton when you were pitching for Richmond. Do you remember how many innings you pitched in relief against the Tigers? <laughs> two and two-thirds, one and two-thirds, two innings, or three innings? Um, I remember this pretty I know exactly what you're talking about but as far as the the direct statistics let's see I remember coming out with a runner on base I'm gonna go with uh a two and two thirds you got it yeah yeah I went back to the memory bank see it's fun to kind of See how much I read your bio, so I knew that about you. That's I think you good. had two strikeouts that game too. I did, I did. <laughs> um, so you left. You went to Richmond. You came back to Tulsa hometown. Um, talk about that transition, like just um, 
starting off at a different school. You went JUCO for a fall, right, in New Mexico Junior College? Yep. And then came back to ORU. So I uh, went to Richmond out of high school, um, you know, played there, loved it. Beautiful city, great teammate. But there was, uh, there was a lot of other things I wanted to do, and I felt like my best opportunity was to uh, bet on myself and take a chance someplace else. Uh, end up going to New Mexico Junior College, surround myself with a whole bunch of good players, great guys out there, get hurt. Um, they make it to the Junior College World Series. I miss out on that, and I uh, transferred to Oral Roberts in the fall. Great opportunity to come get rehab. We had uh, great support staff great coaches, and it's my hometown. You know, it's always been my dream to do something special in my hometown. A couple of high school teammates play on the team together, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can make a run at this thing as, uh, as hometown heroes. Gotcha. So with, with last year's situation, you got that year back. Now, are you, will you be a senior in 21 or a junior in 21? Wow. So you just asked a super loaded question. <laughs> um, <laughs> With the red shirt year from my surgery, uh, that, that gave me an extra year. And okay. then the COVID year is, I guess, what we're calling it now. I got that year back as well. And I'm actually going to finish my undergraduate degree a semester early this fall. So wow. I am a part-time undergraduate student, a part-time graduate student. I'm a sophomore on the field. And who knows what I am in the classroom. <laughs> But you're something, right? But I'm something. I'm on the team. I've got a jersey, and I'm surrounded by great people every day. Well, that's cool. Maybe it, you'll get a good couple years that, out of you and uh, take the Golden Eagles to some good good things. So let's. Uh, this is a know your coach question, so see how much you know about the old baseball coach at Oral Roberts. So let's uh, see this. How many times has Coach Fulmer been named Summit League Coach of the Year? Is it A3? B4, C6, or D5? Oh, I know we've won it like some almost 20 times. Um, he's been the head coach for eight seasons, eight or nine seasons now. I like how you're thinking these things through. That's impressive. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go with uh, C6. Not six. Well, I don't know what year they didn't vote for him, but they should have. <laughs> um, There's some other history that you're, if you eliminate that, then maybe you'll be on the right track. Let's go with, let's go with D5. Not D5. It was. It was D5. Uh, I think I might have clicked the wrong answer to that. It's B4. <laughs> All right, we, we, might, we might have to go back and watch a replay on that. Yeah, that I've done this like twice, and it's really frustrating. You'd think I would have had the hang of this by now. It's okay. I, I said before, and then I, I changed it, but, I mean, we can go to the official review and, and see, where, see where it's at. Wow. Now I'm rattled. Okay. We, what do you like to talk about with Coach Fulmer? Oh, Coach Fulmer is awesome. Um, he does a great job keeping the energy up at practice. Um, he does a great job keep, keeping our catchers in shape. Uh, it's always great to throw to our guys. Just a lot of energy and a lot of focus out of him. He's, he's great. Uh, I will say that one of the most impressive moves I've seen by a coach thus far in the dugout is he has put up cup holders. So he stands in two spots on the field. He stands at the end of the dugout. And then when uh, we're on the field, he goes – more towards home plate and sits at the end of the bench. And he has drilled a cup holder into the post where he stands and then into the side of the bench. So that way he's always got a spot for his cup. And I think it's absolutely genius. <laughs> That's a little fun nugget about Coach Fulmer. So yeah. you're right about the eight or nine years. So you guys were at Southland Conference for a couple of years, came back. He won, it four, the, won the title four straight years. So those were his four summer league coach of the year titles. And then 2019, Omaha got it. And then obviously last year, um, there weren't any awards. So four is the right answer. We'll give you 50 right. points. We'll I'll take go it. back and edit that somehow. Because I have a feeling you were going to guess four if five was wrong. So we'll, uh, I'll take a little heat for that one. But we'll move on to the next question and try to erase it from our memory bank. <laughs> All right. 
This is last year. This is a end of the year review question. You all defeated Missouri State to end the shortened 2020 season. Do you remember the score of that game? Was it three to zero, B two to one, C two to zero, or D one to zero? Um, I know we threw well that game. We the shadows were tough there. Walked walked too many. Uh, struck out a lot. Let's see. I think we threw a shutout. I'm going to go with C, 2-0. It was 2-0. Yep. You pitched, I think, the fifth or sixth inning in that one? It was one of those in the middle, and uh, I had a lot of good relief arms that day. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I know that was a – it was tough, right? You, you get a 2-0 shutout against Missouri State. Did you guys have any inkling that that would be the last game of the season? No, we really had no idea. And, uh, you know, we came off a tough weekend at DBU and uh, go to Missouri State. And we, you know, we play well. We felt like we were hitting our stride, rolling, rolling into conference and uh, season's over. I mean, it was definitely heartbreaking. Definitely a lot of hugs, a lot of tears. Uh, we didn't know if we were going to get the seniors back. It was, it was definitely interesting. You know, a lot of teams went through it and that's, it was pretty scary. No doubt 2020 has definitely been a, been a tough, challenging year, but we're uh, as a society pushing through it and hopefully things look better in 2021, especially as uh, you know, the spring sports get those opportunities back to compete. So, all right, final question, championship history related. Laura Roberts began the century on a dominating run. So who was the first summit league team besides ORU to win a league tournament title this century? Was it A, Omaha, B, Western Illinois, D, North Dakota State, or D, South Dakota State? Let's see. So, like I said, history-rich program. We, um, I'm going to go with, it was Omaha in 2019. So it wait, wait, wait. When we were in the Summit League? <sighs> Man, I hesitated there. I knew I should ask the question. I needed a clarifying question. <laughs> um, You guys may not have been in that tournament. And I think it was, it was when we were in the Southland, wasn't it? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So, man, I was in like eighth grade. Um, let's go with South Dakota State, Jack Rabbit. You got it. You got it. So 850 points is what you ended up with. Good so run. No, it's not bad. That was one of the one of the top scores. Not the top score for an individual, but coupled with Kenny Joe Lippy, you guys are on that fifteen hundred mark. So we'll you'll just have to check back and see the progress. Not sure exactly what we're gonna do when all this is over. We got six more weeks of explore the summit to do, but we may have a little fun competition at the end with some of the top scores. So we'll see how that shakes out. But Minus a little blip on the one question. That was a, that was a lot of fun. Um, just getting to know you better. I know you guys are jumping at the bit to get baseball season going. It's been a long time and just getting through this crazy year. But Foster, it was, it was a pleasure. Had a lot of fun. And I uh, wish all the best to you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You bet. Have a good day. You too.